So let me go ahead and share my screen. I think everybody can see the book at this point. Uh, if you cannot see the book, let me know. Uh, but I think that you can, hopefully. Uh, just a little bit of um, housekeeping business before we get started. Uh, if you do have questions, then you can certainly put those questions into uh, the Q&A box and we'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Uh, if you do have um, you know, comments or ahas, uh, ideas that come to your mind as we're going through the webinar today, you can certainly put those into the chat window. But again, uh, the Q&A box is a really good place for those questions. And that way I can kind of keep my eye on it and see um, you know, what I can answer that, uh, right then and there. And if I can't answer it right away, it's probably because we're going to get to that point uh, at some point soon. And uh, we'll be able to answer those questions, um, <clears throat> like I said, as soon as we can. All right. <clears throat> All right, Martha says I'm really breaking up here. Um, is that the same for everybody? Is everybody noticing that? Um, I've been having some internet issues. Uh, Stephanie says, no, good on my end. Okay, all right, excellent. Just wanna make sure uh, I have been having some internet issues, so I just wanna make sure that it wasn't me. Uh, yeah, Martha, if you wanna go ahead and log out, that might uh, help, <clears throat> we'll give it a shot. All right, but if you do notice anything weird, let me know, please. I did try to tell my family to turn everything off on their end, uh, like I said, because I have been having some issues today, <clears throat> but hopefully everything is all right. Okay, so. First things first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, for those of you that do not know, uh, my name is John Smith. I am the iPod teacher on Twitter. So if you're on Twitter and you wanna give me a shout out, uh, awesome. If not, no worries. Uh, you can also reach me at johnsmith at bookcreator.com. So uh, again, if you have any questions, reach out to me on uh, Twitter or you can reach out to me uh, through email there at johnsmith.bookcreator.com. Uh, taught special ed for 12 years. I was a technology integration specialist for seven years after that, and now I am the teacher success manager here at Book Creator. So lots of webinars, lots of trainings, uh, sales support, inspiration conferences when that was a thing, uh, virtual conferences now that that is a thing, and a little bit of everything. So super, super excited to, to be here and have all of you uh, join with me today. Um, I would also like to welcome my colleague, Catherine. So Catherine is uh, here to help us out. So Catherine, would you uh, introduce yourself, please? Yes, absolutely. Hi, everyone. My name's Catherine Capiello. Here, I can turn on my video too. It's a little dark in my place, but um, I am, I, I'm located in Chicago. I am on the school partnerships team here at Book Creator. I will be just in the background helping out John tonight. Um, I do work alongside John um, as well on his team. I am do a little bit of sales as well as some of teacher success too. Um, I am a former educator myself. I've taught kinder all the way through high school. But just like I said before, I will be in the background just helping out. So feel free to stick any questions in the chat. I will do my best to respond to them as quickly as possible. If not, I will make sure to pause John throughout or answer at the end um, and make sure that we get to all those questions too. Anyways, happy to be here. Awesome. Thanks, Catherine. <clears throat> all right. And so today's agenda, we are just going to take a little look at all of the new features in Book Creator and then uh, show you some tips and tricks on how you can find some of the other features that we've added to Book Creator in the last year or so. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. And the first place uh, actually that we'd like to look at is the teacher dashboard. Now, I will say, uh, for those of you that are fairly new to Book Creator, uh, if you are new uh, and you have not been through a complete getting started with Book Creator webinar, uh, this is not it, all right? So we're only gonna really focus on the new features tonight, uh, short and sweet. Um, but if you are interested, you can certainly go to our YouTube channel and you can visit uh, any of the video recordings that we have there. Uh, this recording will be on our YouTube channel in the next day or two, hopefully. And uh, as are all, like I said, all of our other webinars. So please, uh, if you are not that familiar with Book Creator, please feel free to check out our YouTube channel and look at some of that interesting stuff that we have on there. Now, I will say uh, that the first place that we do want to go is the teacher dashboard. And so I always like to start our webinars off by going to the teacher dashboard. So once you've created your account uh, and you've gotten into Book Creator, the teacher dashboard really has some, some great things uh, to, to look at, all right? And some of them are relatively new, uh, especially here under this Discover tab. 
So again, if you are looking for ideas for using Book Creator, I uh, hope you got some time maybe over the holiday break to really dive deep into Book Creator and how you're going to use it in your classroom. This Discover tab is a great place to go. Uh, we have sample books here at the top written by our ambassadors, or some of them were written by us as a company. We also have examples by grade level. So you can click on any of these examples and view resources by grade level and also more books by our ambassadors. And if you click these arrows, uh, you can see even more. So science and social studies, uh, SEL, reading response, creating journals, so many options in this teacher dashboard. We also have examples by subject area. <clears throat> so if you click on any of these uh, little boxes here, it'll take you to a library and that library will have sample books uh, for all of these subject areas. So I definitely wanna recommend that you take a look at that. And again, in the newish category, uh, I do want to bring your attention to this Learn tab. And in the Learn tab, we have all of these really cool uh, buttons. And if you click on any of those, it will take you to um, you know, support articles, step-by-step -step guides, telling you how to uh, do certain pieces of Book Creator. So I highly recommend checking that out. But then underneath that, uh, again, I think for everybody that may be not super familiar with Book Creator, but even those of you who are uh, fairly good at Book Creator, this is a really cool course that we've put together. Uh, and if you click on this view course, it will take you to a new tab that says certification. And you will see that there are uh, 14 videos followed by a quiz. All right? And if you watch the videos and you pass the quiz, then you become a Book Creator certified author. And you get this cool little badge uh, that you can put into your email signature or tweet out on social media, whatever. Definitely um, do this because you know the badge is cool, uh, but more importantly, you will have a, um, a deep, deep understanding of all of Book Creator's features. So I just definitely recommend taking a look at all of these pieces here in the teacher dashboard. All right, now I'm gonna go back to this library screen and right here, uh, there actually is a newer feature and I definitely want to make you aware of it uh, because it is kind of cool to, to see what we've done here. There, there's this little uh, set of text over here on the far right that says what's new. And if you click on that, it will actually take you uh, to our website and it will give you everything that we've done new and when uh, it was when it happened. You know, so if you wanted to go all the way back to January of 2020, uh, we can start with our support for Microsoft Edge and unlimited libraries, right? And then you kind of scroll through and you see this nice little timeline of all of the, the new features that we've added to Book Creator. So I definitely love that uh, because it does kind of just show you the progression of what we've done in the last year. So definitely want you to click on that what's new and go in there and see what you can find. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get back into our book here today. All right, so again, that was the teacher dashboard. Our newest feature uh, that we just had uh, released, I think it was last week actually, was our hex code color picker. Now I had to do a little bit of research on this when I wasn't 100% sure, sure exactly what that meant uh, or how it was going to affect me. Um, but our hex code color picker, it's kind of a mouthful uh, to explain, is here and it is available. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next page and show you exactly what that is and why it might be important. Uh, so the hex code color picker is available when you click on something on the screen. So in this case, I'm clicking on the white empty page. And when I click the inspector button, I have all these cool options for backgrounds, right? I think for those of you that have used Book Creator, you've probably seen that a million times. But one of the options is right here that says colors. And again, I can choose all of these different colors that I want. And if I don't like those predetermined colors, I can click the plus button and then I can drag these, this dot right around until I find a color that I like. Now, a lot of times for me, what would happen is I would say, oh, I wanna find a blue, right? And I try to find a blue and I'm like, that's kind of close, right? And I just hit apply and it just would kind of deal with that kind of blue. Well, now what you'll see here is underneath the, the colors and the brightness options, there is a, a little line now that says hex code. 
And what I can see is that this color blue, um, specifically this blue, is labeled number 80BDF9. All right, again, that doesn't mean much to me at all in this sense. All right, but as a designer, right, if I'm trying to design a book and I want to make sure that the, the um, you know, the colors are the same on every page, right, or uh, between books, all right, this is how I can actually do that. All right, and I love it. Stephanie says she's so excited about this, been waiting for this for a long time, but literally everything else I could ever want with Book Creator that I never complained about it. <laughs> All right, so awesome. So, um, and, and, and literally this, I have to laugh too, because the, really the only reason that we, that we did this is because one of our ambassadors uh, said to us, we really want this, uh, I really want this. And she is one of our ambassadors who have made more books than anybody on the planet. And so we listened to her and we put this in there. Now, I was trying to think of like a real life example of this. And the best way that I have found is this. Uh, my wife and I were uh, getting some painting done in our house. Um, this is not the color of my house, but as you can see uh, behind me. Um, but I did find like all of these cool colors, right? So like this orange right here, I'm on the Sherwin-Williams painting site. And underneath the, the, the color of orange, right? It's called Invigorate. There is a little section that says details. And if I click details, it actually gives me the hex value right there. So if I copy that and then go back into my book and paste the hex code right there and hit apply, that right there is Sherwin Williams Invigorate Orange. And you can see as I go between the page and the book that it is exact. Now I do not have to guess and try to figure out what orange it is, I can actually say this is the orange that I used on it. Now I should know this and maybe Catherine uh, can find this real quick, but we actually have a specific book creator blue. And I know that we tweeted it out and I did not write down the code number, uh, but there is a code number that you can get in here to get the exact color for book creator blue. All right, so there you go, that is hex colors. Now, it doesn't just work on backgrounds, all right? I could click on the plus button, I could add a shape, and in the same thing here, if I click the inspector, go to my color, and hit the plus button, I can then enter that code for invigorate orange, hit apply, and now it goes right inside there as well. All right, and Stephanie also put in a website here, uh, 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 coolers.co, uh, is also a great uh, place to create palettes and grab those hex codes so you can coordinate with your book with like a champ. Awesome. Love it. And I am going to make note of that uh, website uh, so that I can take a look at that later. So I'm just going to mark that down right there. All right. Excellent. So again, um, that is the hex code colors and it works for, like I said, just about every aspect of book creator. So anything that you can click and then click the inspector, you can then uh, add that to that background. All right, thank you, Catherine, for putting that link in there. Um, and uh, all right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next page. This one is super, super exciting. All right, and oh, there it is here, Catherine. Let me, let me go back. So there's the code. So if I copy this code and I go back to our inspector and click colors plus and enter this code right there and apply, there is Book Creator Blue. All right, how cool is that? So super neat that you can go through and choose any of those colors that you want. All right, the next newest feature that we have is our integration with the Noun Project. Now the Noun Project, uh, for those of you that are not aware, is a, uh, a, a group that has created uh, 2 million plus icons, right? It's one of the largest collections of icons that you can use in different places. All right, and we are super excited to announce that we have a nice little partnership with them now. And because of that partnership, you have access to all 2 million plus of their icons. And so here's how this works. If I click the plus button and I click on where it says shapes, there is a little search bar here at the top. And if I click inside the search bar and type something like uh, teacher and then hit search, we now have an entire collection of icons that are related to the, the text that I put in there. So if I just click on one of the images, I now have this icon that has been added right to the page. I can get it just right where I want it. 
And now I can use those icons for comics. I can use those icons uh, as images to kind of enhance the learning so that I'm not always going to Google and stealing the images from Google or whatever. I have all of these really cool things here. Now, if I click on this icon and then click the inspector, I can change the color. All right, so we have all of our standard colors. Uh, and again, I could put in my hex code and hit apply. And now that icon is in Book Creator Blue, right? Or whatever color you want it to be in. So this is really, really neat. You can also click the inspector and you can hyperlink that to a specific website so that when somebody is reading your book, if they click on that icon, it will take them to a website or I can even add the accessibility text. And what's really nice here is that it pre uh, populates that accessibility text already based on the um, based on the word I used in the search, uh, but I could expand on this a little bit right teacher with students. All right, and so now when somebody with visual impairments is reading our book and they click on that. Uh, or, or they're reading through and clicking on the play button, it will say image teacher with students, right? Or icon teacher with students. So this is really cool. All right, this noun project, of course, again, like I said, you can rotate, you can move around, you can resize. Now, I think the thing that's really interesting here is that this, this is part of our paid plans. Uh, so if you are on a free plan uh, with Book Creator, you will not have access to those noun icons, um, but, with our paid plans, you do. You get the full version of the noun project. And I know sometimes, um, you know, people are, are kind of like, oh gosh, I don't know if I want to pay for the paid plan or, you know, whatever. But I will say that if you do like the noun project and you have ever used the noun project with any of your other tools, uh, the noun project is $20 per year to get all of the attribution rights and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, included in the use. So if you use the noun project, you're probably paying $20 a year for it. Uh, and that does not include all of the students and other people that you have that want to use it. So having it included in Book Creator is really an awesome feature. So definitely want you to check out the noun project. All right, now the next one over, we kind of maybe got a little bit of a glimpse of this is, we, uh, is our new shapes section. So if you click the plus button and click shapes, we do have a whole bunch more shapes here than we used to. We used to have nine shapes. Now we have 24 shapes. And what's really awesome about these shapes now is if I click on one, we do have some others, but I can resize, all right? Some of them uh, are kind of like a fixed resize. And some of them like a, uh, some of these triangles, for example, um, are not necessarily as fixed, so I can move them uh, and kind of make them whatever shape I want. All right, but what's really cool now, not only that we have 24 shapes, uh, but this one kind of flew under the radar. and We didn't even actually mention it on our blog post about this, but one of the cool things about the shapes now is that you can rotate them. Now, for those of you that are longtime Book Creator users, you will know that that is super, super awesome because for a long time, you couldn't rotate shapes, right? We just had our, our shape here and it was a triangle this way, no matter what. But now we can actually rotate those shapes and this is super awesome. Again, same rules apply. I can click the inspector, change the color, choose any of the colors or even choose the hex code and I can apply it and now I've got that book creator blue. All right, so some really cool things here with, um, with shapes. Now on our website, we, where we do have the blog post of the shapes, Catherine, maybe you can put this into the uh, chat window. Uh, there was an interesting one where one of our graphic designers uh, made an entire scene out of nothing but shapes and it was really cool. So I highly recommend uh, checking out the blog post on this and scrolling down to watch that video uh, of our one of our designers, Kim, uh, creating a really amazing scene using just shapes and you kind of get to see it uh, in kind of in real time or uh, not real time, but kind of like a time lapse uh, showing exactly how um, uh, Kim made that video. So really, really cool stuff. So definitely want you to check that out. All right, and then the next thing that we do have are a whole bunch of new fonts, all right? And so I am gonna go here to um, our site and I wanna talk about the new fonts. All right, so we've actually added 12 different fonts 
uh, in Book Creator. Actually, I'm on the wrong part of our website here. Hang on one second. So if I go to bookcreator.com, and uh, it's better for me to show you this way uh, than it is to try to fish through all of our fonts and actually find them. All right, so if I go to our uh, new shapes uh, uh, blog post, there's the noun project. It talks a little bit more about that. Uh, underneath that, we talk about the new shapes. And there's that video I was mentioning. Um, and then right here, though, there's a whole bunch of more um, uh, fonts. So we've got Alpha Slam, uh, Comforta, Railway, Alex Brush, Pacifico, Sacramento, Sinzel Decorative, IMFL, DW Pika, whatever that means, uh, Press Start TP, Stardos Stencil, Yellowtail, and Oswald. So there's a lot of really cool fonts. And to find those, again, click on your text box, go to Inspector, click on where it says Font, and then somewhere in these list of fonts, you will see all of those really cool new ones. So I know Alpha Slab was one of them. There it is. Uh, I know that there was another one that was Railway was one. So click on Railway, Pacifico, and then that one that was like uh, two player press start. It's kind of like a video game font, right? So there's all kinds of really cool new fonts uh, in Book Creator. So definitely want you to check out all of those fonts. Okay, awesome. All right, oh, and I already showed you that. Okay, so uh, I promised that this would be um, a short and sweet webinar where we're just talking about some of our new features. So at this point, I am gonna just see if there are any questions. I didn't see anything kind of popping in the uh, Q&A box or into the uh, chat window. Um, but if you have any questions uh, or comments, please let us know. And we'll stick around here for a few more minutes to answer those questions. Um, but those are some of the newest features in Book Creator. And even if it's not a question about new features, if you just have a question for us, like I said, we can answer those questions here in the next couple minutes. Um, if you do not have any questions, just remember that this video will be live on our YouTube channel in the next couple of days. And I just want to say for all of you uh, that are in that neck of the woods, uh, happy holidays. We've got some holidays coming up and hopefully everybody gets a little bit of a time uh, to um, kind of relax and, 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 and take a break here. Uh, Stephanie says, is there a release date for the template feature? So I will go back to our website here. And some of you may be asking why we did all of these new fonts. What's the point? And the point is that we do have some really cool stuff coming soon in terms of templates. And so the basic gist, let me go ahead and play this here for you for a second. As you can see, and I'll just pause it right there for a second, you can see all of the new different styles of templates that we have coming out, which are really cool. I'm going to hit play here. We'll show you again how it's going to work. You're going to be able to click the plus button to make a new page, and it's going to give you some options. So it's going to be awesome that we're going to have these little template pages uh, available for you to add to your book and make those books even cooler than they already are. And so, Stephanie, the question was, is there a release date? And the release date, I'm not going to give you an exact release date, but I will say, uh, for those of you that uh, are uh, familiar with the FETC, uh, the Future of Education Technology Conference, usually held in Florida uh, in G like January, uh, so keep an eye out for the FETC conference uh, and um, things that uh, relate to that conference. All right, Marina, what is the maximum file size for uploading media uh, into Book Creator? And um, I, we get that question frequently, and the short answer to that question is there really isn't. Okay, there isn't a um, there isn't a size limit uh, to the media that you put in there. Um, but I always have, um, I put a little asterisk next to that and just say that the bigger the media that you're putting, uh, the longer it may take a page to load. So it just depends on what you're putting in there, whether it's a large photo file or a, a long video or audio or things like that. Uh, there is no limit, but it could potentially slow down load times um, for that page. And I will say the longer the video, it definitely will slow down the time that it takes to create captions uh, for those videos. But other than that, 
That's it. Uh, Stephanie, my students are going to lose it uh, over the new fonts. Awesome. So super excited to hear that you uh, and your students are going to love uh, those new fonts. All right. Well, again, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Be safe out there. Uh, happy bookmaking. Happy holidays. And uh, Catherine, thanks for joining me and helping me out with uh, the questions and throwing in those links. I appreciate that as always. And again, if you have any questions, anybody, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, either on Twitter, uh, through email, um, and I'll stick around for one more minute to answer questions. My daughter's having a concert in there. It sounds like dinner must be ready or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, again, thanks for being here. Really, really appreciate it, everybody. Happy holidays, everyone. All right. All right. Well, not seeing anything else. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Marina, for your questions. And thanks, Catherine. All right. See ya. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.